Hello everyone, welcome back to our Tinkercad tutorial. In this video, we'll be using potential meter to control RGB LED. So let's start with create new circuits. Now remember the name your exercise as exercise 2.4. Okay, we'll be using Arduino Uno. So let's drag an Arduino Uno into the working board and then a breadboard as well. We can start by connecting the 5 volts and the GND which is the ground. Okay, if you scroll down a little bit, you will find the LED RGB over here. So let's bring it in and connect the cathode which is from the left is the second one and that one should be connected to our GND. Each individual leg of RGB LED require a resistor. Okay, each one require a minimum of 200 ohm. So let's start with adding the resistor in. Okay, we can put resistor here and then copy by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Okay, put another one here and then another one here as well. Okay, actually we wanted to move a little bit further because it's connected we'll use it to connect to the left leg of potentiometer. So the next thing will be potentiometer. So let's put the potentiometer in and then change it to 10 kilo ohm. Okay, remain the kilo ohm. Now, control C, control V to copy two more. Now, we need to start connecting all the wire together. The resistor should connect to the left leg of the potentiometer. It can be connected to the right leg as well. Okay, but the middle leg need to be connected to our RGB LED. Okay. So we'll do the same for the next one, which is the blue color of the RGB LED. Okay, again left leg and then the top one okay the third one from the left now we can actually connect to the left or right leg of potential meter but if you are using more than one of them make sure that you connect to the same leg so that you will get the same effect okay if you connect to the left when you are turning all the way to the left is the maximum and then turning the other way will be minimum but if we connect to the right it will be the other way around okay after we connect the last one to the green port then we are done when you press start simulation if everything goes right it will show up as white color now you can change each one by reducing each color okay when you turn this one down you are actually reducing red in the RGB LED. You can reduce another one so when both red and blue are zero you get green. You can start to mix to create different color. This time different than when we just switch it on or off we can actually create more color by selecting different value. Okay we can actually change the value a little bit to create for example orange or brown. Okay, so this is how you use RGB LED and potential meter to basically create any color. If you feel like the change is actually a bit too big, you can actually change the resistance value of the potential meter to 10K as well. Okay, so this is all for this exercise. So basically, this is how the your laptop, your PC monitor, your TV or your smartphone used to create different color using those three color. So basically using red or uh, sorry red, blue and green, it can be combined with different voltage to create much more color than the seven or eight that we have demonstrated earlier. Okay, so today conclusion, we can use potential meter to limit the voltage flowing into each leg of RGB LED to help provide 
pretty much any color that we can see through the line. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you on our next exercise. Thank you.